Yo. Let me talk about cardboard cutout dates, uh, otherwise known as interview dates or hairdresser conversation dates. Now, once this uh, isolation thing breaks open in the dating scene, you can go back out there and date again like we used to. Remember those days? Meeting for a coffee, tapas and wine somewhere, cafe on the beach, uh, outdoors, restaurants, etc. They're coming back. So I just want to let you know to be aware of these types of dates, which is to me, Van Paul, a date should be flirty, fun, a bit of chemistry, sparkles, electricity. Now, most dates, especially if you meet someone offline, online, offline, are cookie cutter dates, cardboard cutout dates, okay? That means it's like a job interview. I'll give you some examples. So uh, what do you do for, for a living? What do you do for crust? What's your star sign? So boring questions with boring answers. Well, you can feed off the star sign one, but like, uh, so it's been nice weather lately. What have you been up to? Etc. Etc. So it ends up becoming like a job interview. So where do you work? Okay. Hmm. Boring question. Boring answer. And then you feel empowered to ask another boring question. Stuff that. Okay. Get back out there. Put some spice into your interactions. Spice it up. Now. Hairdresser conversation, you know? Well, sometimes it depends how close you are with your hairdresser, but normally, if you're just a walk in, it's like, how do you want your hair done, blah, blah, blah. So what do you do for a living? Where do you work? Where do you live? Okay, what are your interests? It's been a nice day today, okay? Now you wanna flirt a bit and throw in some flirty questions and answers. Spice it up a little bit. I've got my own spa style myself. It's cheeky. Uh, playful. Bantery. Uh, teasing. Messing around a bit. They're all good stuff for me. Because that's, that's in there. You find sexual attraction can be develop. Not like, so where do you work? So where do you live? What happened with your last girlfriend? Where is she now? Where do your mum and dad live? What car do you drive? No! All right, go for it if you want, but you want to get her back out there. Because uh, I've got friends who go through date after date after date, online dating, and you can almost become disheartened by the cookie cutter dates. They're boring as bats. Van Paul, sign it off.